graph y is equal to x to the power of 2. I mean, I'm quiz 2060, y is equal to x squared. We are given that y is equal to x squared. Which of the following is the correct graph? Is it the one on the left? Is it A or is it B, figure 2, the one on the right? So we are given y is equal to x squared. When y is equal to x squared, when you put x equals 0, what happens to y? It is 0 to the power of 2, which is 0. When you put x equals 1, what happens? 1 to the power of 2, 1. When you put x equals negative 1, what happens? Negative 1 to the power of 2, which is negative 1 times negative 1, and that is positive 1. How about negative 2? Negative 2 to the power of 2 is positive 4. How about just 2? Positive 4. So what is our ordered pair? Our ordered pair is 0, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 4, positive 2, 4, and so on. y is equal to x squared. So if y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, for us, b is 0. There is no x term. c is 0. There is no c. When nothing is written next to x to the power of 2, a is 1. So a is 1. a is positive 1. It is positive. The graph opens up. It has a minimum. Why do we say we have a minimum? When the graph opens up, A is positive. So our graph is going to look like this. When the graph opens up, you have a minimum. And we call that the vertex. Why is it minimum? Because when we go to the left, our Y is going to be more. And if we go to the right, our Y is going to be more. At the vertex, the Y is minimum. So our graph opens up, so we have a minimum. Now, if we are given negative x squared as the expression, then y is equal to ax squared plus bx, bx plus c. If a is negative, if a is negative, this means negative, okay? So if a is negative, the graph opens down and we have a maximum. And that is also called the vertex. Why is that the maximum? Because when you go to the left or to the right, we have a smaller y value. For our case, the graph opens up, A is positive. Hey, this is George Matthew. Good luck.